Welcome Insiders to Tech Inside, I'm your host Eric. Today is the last episode of Inside News for 2013. Hopefully you'll have way better content next year in 2014. Anyway though, like I said, this is Inside News, December 30th, let's get started. First off in Inside News, the Mac Pro. Last week I talked about the Mac Pro and the fact that if you order it right now, you're gonna probably get it in like February because it's kind of back ordered. But for the people that actually got it early, the Mac Pro should be arriving around today, tomorrow, something like that. And actually a few people have already gotten their Mac Pros and they found out that yes, the Mac Pro is very powerful, but unfortunately not many software actually supports it. The Mac Pro might have amazing specs, but you still need the actual software to support it. So for example, Final Cut Pro X, which is of course Apple's video editor, is of course supported with the Mac Pro, and I saw like The Verge, they were editing like 4K video, and it was working perfectly fine, but then they used a program like Adobe Premiere, which is usually what they use, and it's not actually supported with the Mac Pro, so it was kind of laggy when you're using 4K video. Of course, the support can be fixed, we're gonna have to wait for companies to update their applications for the Mac Pro. But so talking about the Mac Pro and about the performance, it turns out that the CPU in the Mac Pro actually is upgradable. A company has taken apart the Mac Pro to realize that the CPU slot actually can be removed and you can put in a new CPU later, which actually is really nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the GPU is going to be upgradable, but at least the CPU is upgradable and also you can upgrade the internal storage and the RAM. So that's good enough, I guess. But the truth still remains that if you want to get an upgradable computer, just build a PC. Moving on, something new has come to Mac OS X. And and that's OpenMU 1.0. Not exactly sure if I said that right, but nonetheless, this is an open source console emulator for the Mac OS. Yes, we've seen these kind of console emulators before, but this is natively made for Mac OS, so I guess that's a good thing. Before you get your hopes up, you're not gonna be able to play Xbox games, Wii games, PlayStation games. The consoles that are supported on this emulator are like old consoles, like the Game Boy, the DS, the Super Nintendo, etc. So yes, these are all pretty much retro games, which isn't a bad thing at all. The only thing is I'm not sure if they're gonna be adding other console support, like the first PlayStation or the first Xbox. I don't know if they're gonna be doing that. The one thing you might wanna know about this emulator is it does support controllers, which is nice. Also, the game selection on this emulator right now isn't too impressive there's only like 15 games and honestly I haven't really heard of most of the games on there so hopefully there'll be better games later on but who knows nonetheless this emulator does look kind of promising so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens so guys that's inside news for today sorry nothing much really happened but please tell me in the comments section below what do you guys think about the actual web show inside news how can I improve it with 2014 right around the corner I want to try to do some new things with inside news and make it better anyway though just let me know in the comments section below also like this video subscribe and share anyway though guys my name is Eric and I'm signing out